national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, hear us, Lord that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Sa Panginoong Diyos, lahat ng saan dinagpag. Magsiawit kayo at siya'y ipagdangal, magpapay ng man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, we celebrate today the memorial of Saints Cyril and Saint Methodius, a monk and a bishop, the missionary to the Slavic regions. We ask for their intercession that we may faithful to the promise that we have made, to the gospel that we preach, and to the Christian life that we wish to live. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers Saints Cyril and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider, consider it all joy 
my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will be receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat, and dries up the grass. Its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Please, sit, please be seated. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than the thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me, according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Please stand. Give joy to my heart, your teaching is high to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang tanghali po at happy Valentine's Day po sa inyo. At tiyak po ako, ngayong araw na ito, there will be those who are expecting a sign. 
there will be those who will be demanding for a sign. And there will be those who will give the sign. Signs if this person is the right one. Signs if this person still loves me. Signs to assure the love for a beloved. Yun naman ho yung hinahanap natin. Humihingi tayo ng sign. Sign kung sasagutin mo na ba siya. Sign kung siya na ba si Mr. Right. Sign para maramdaman yung love niya sa'yo. Sign para kumapit at ipaglaban yung pagmamahal mo. But in our gospel today, Jesus offers us something different. Not a single sign will be given. No sign will be offered to those who are demanding a sign. Why? Simply because there are already many signs that we have continually ignored. It does not really mean that we do not have enough signs. It is just that we do not know how to read those signs. Minsan kasi yung inaasahan natin, yung sign na gusto nating lumabas. We are the ones demanding for a specific sign, but there are already enough signs to tell us what to do. Humihingi tayo ng sign o humihingi ng sign kung siya na ba talaga para sa'yo. Pero alam mo naman yung history niya ng panloloko. Alam mo naman yung history ng mga niloko niya. Tapos hihingi ka pa ng sign. There are already enough signs, but we just continue to ignore those signs. Simply because we want those signs, we want signs that would suit our personal tastes. But God is not someone who would simply give in to our whims. However, it does not mean that God would simply leave us on our own. And this is what St. James would remind us in our first reading. Normal naman ho sa atin na magambala, malungkot, umatakot kapag may problema tayong kinaharapan. Wala naman sa atin yung may gusto ng problema pero realidad, realidad din ng buhay na hindi natin may iwasan ng problema. At madalas pa, kapag nagkakaproblema tayo, ito yung nagiging negative sign para sa atin na hindi tayo mahal ng Diyos, na hindi tayo nabibiyayaan. We are given enough signs, but we simply do not know how to interpret it. St. James reminds us that these trials and tribulations should not be taken negatively. Why? First, to know where we are standing. And secondly, to reap the graces through those trials. Parte ng buhay yung mga suliranin. Pero kung iwas lang tayo ng iwas at ayaw nating harapin yung mga bagay na yan, ibig sabihin, nakasalalay lang tayo sa sarili nating lakas. Kapag sa, kapag sa tingin natin na hindi natin kaya, iiwas na lang tayo. But these trials are not there simply to test what we have. Hindi lang yun ang sukatan kung anong meron tayo at kung hanggang saan yung kaya natin. These trials are there to remind us to whom should we put all our trust? May hangganan din yung pwede nating gawin. Pero wag sanang mawalan ng hangganan yung pananalig natin sa Diyos. And the moment we could persevere in our faith, then we can be assured that we will also reap those graces in God's time. Totoo yung kasabihan na nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Pero sa bawat gawa natin, hindi lang tayo pinapanood ng Diyos. Nandun siya para basbasan at payabungin yung gawa ng ating mga kamay. Do we still need a sign? It is already there. But let us pray that we may know how to read those signs according to God's plan.
please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as sinners we may come to a deeper realization of the love and mercy which God has for all who turn to Him with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That we may have a deep and true faith in God which is not limited to external signs and appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O Lord, guide us all the days of this troubled life. Grant us safety and blessed peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands could become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Cyril and Methodius and grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity, reconciled to you in loving charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. First, on the festival of St. Cyril and Methodius, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives. Teach her by their words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, 
we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly in his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Cyril and Methodius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Lord, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us, Give us this day, this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O 
O God, Father of all nations, who make us sharers in the one bread and the one spirit, and heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this feast day of St. Cyril and Methodius that the multitude of your children, persevering in the same faith, may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sa 